hi friends welcome back to laravel tutorial today i am going to show you one exciting things that is the admin panel so how we can get admin panel easily so the credit goes to voyager so i found this package voyager package so using this package we can easily create admin panel so as a beginner if you want to start your application and you need a admin backend then you can use this a professional developer can be use these things as this is the mts license that means you can use professionally also right and all the credit goes to these developers so the creator of this voyager package is tony and the maintainer and supporter and there is a maintainer so eric and christoph okay so thanks to you and the features of this admin panel so if you just go to this link here you can see there is a media manager that means it is a fully functional media manager and it's view edit add your medias and after installation if you check this you will get a folder and inside the folder you can upload folder and you can create a nested folder so it's awesome okay and to the another features is menu builder so we don't need to create menu separately we can dynamically create a menu and we can set that menu into our application and the next awesome things is database manager so using this database manager we can even create tables we can edit or modify tables columns and we don't need to write anything inside our php map admin or you can say in our database okay so this is the awesome features of this voyager package and let's see how it's working so before that we have also crude builder and we have some settings and we have some compass okay so many features we have so let's install first so before that we need to install a laravel application so just go to the terminal and create project so right here create so before that we need to use the composer so composer create project laravel slash laravel and suppose my project name is admin panel okay so just enter this so it will install the laravel so it's installing okay so it may take some time so within few seconds it will install so you can see the laravel is installed so now just go inside this folder so cd admin panel okay so inside the folder just open the visual studio code as this will be the editing tools so inside the visual studio code will develop this application and the next things just run the application so write php artisan serve okay so if you just go to this link you can see your application right so just go here and this is the laravel application simply after the installation you can simply use this voice template into your application so we need to follow few steps to do this so as it is running this application so i am opening new tab so inside the new tab just install the browser package using the composer so use the composer require and tcg voyager right so enter this and it's installing the 1.4 version of voyager so it's installed now let's use the artisan so php artisan voyager sorry spelling mistake voyager install okay so before that so before installation let's see inside our visual studio code so if you just go inside the database so inside the migration there are only four migration tables and there is the default cedar database cedar so while we run these things basically it will install some tables into our application so basically it will create some migrations files and some cedar files actually if you run this command php artisan voice or reinstall 
then it will install the admin but after installation i need some data so that we can understand it very completely so how we can do this so there is another options so while we are going to install so we can use the with dummy so that it will get some dummy data into your application so we have not configured our database so first we need to configure the database so just go inside the local host php my admin and let's enter and if we just create a database suppose the database name is admin panel okay so let's configure this database into our application so just go inside the env file so here you can see there is dot env file so let's configure the database name first and the username is root and the db password is a b c d one two three and do it right and another things just use the local host 8000 so that the image file or image path will appear correctly or resource path you can say it will appear correctly okay so this is the app you will if you not use this port then you can use another port and that time we need to use their another port here so as it is 8000 so we need to use this 8000 okay so that's simple now just going to install this again so php partition so you can see there is lots of table it's migration and along with this if you just check there is some seeding also so seeding data into the database right so if you check inside our application so just go inside the database so you can see there are lots of migration created and in the cedar we have only database cedar but you can see there is lots of cedar are added into your application okay and just go into the browser and database so let's refresh this so you will get about 18 tables into our application okay so the browser is installed so let's see so it's installed successfully now if we just go into the application so just refresh this so it's nothing happened and this is simply a admin panel so we need to use slash admin and here you will get the complete admin process so here is the login process so it's welcome to browser the missing admin for Laravel okay so you can change this as for your own requirement or as for your need so the default username password is the admin at the rate admin.com so if you check into the user's table you will get as we are using some dummy data so it is using the admin at the rate admin.com so let's copy this and i know the password so basically the password is simply password so if you check the documentation then you can see the default password for browser is password you can change as for you right so great so this is the admin dashboard so there is many links so there is roles users media post and you can create dynamic pages from here and there is categories settings and also have some tools so this is the builder section so we'll have a menu builder if you want to create delete any tables we can use this and we'll have also profile section and the home and the logout section so you can say this is the complete package of admin panel right so that's simple browser package so i think you will love this video so please comment if you have any queries about this video so next day i am going to discuss about some configuration section of this admin panel okay so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and please share this channel with your friends thanks for watching this video have a good day